You all have been asking us to show you some behind the scenes, what we do during the week. This is a Friday hustle. Adam is wrapping bouquets for grocery store bouquets. I'm getting ready to go deliver those and some flowers for a wedding. already made a few farmer's market bouquets. These were done yesterday. They're looking gorgeous. Very pastel though, and I have to say, after we round into summer, some of these pastel colors don't go quite as quickly. So I'm hoping for some brighter colors next week that we can include in bouquets because they have some ranunculus in there because you, you can see that. Uh, the ranunculus are really popular and I think they'll go pretty quick. These are the wedding centerpieces. I was talking about. Um, these are for a wedding rehearsal dinner and there are eight centerpieces here. Those all got made yesterday, Thursday late afternoon and there's lots of beautiful locally grown flowers in here. All of the special stuff. There are heirloom roses, a still bee, some ranunculus in there. They're absolutely incredible. The wedding colors are blush, blush and pink. The master at work Adam is the fastest bouquet wrapper in the West. I'm going slow today though. <laughs> yeah, we decided uh, we're both really tired today and we're taking it as slow as possible. Yeah. We have employees out cutting flowers right now. While we're in here, I'm videoing, so I'm kind of slacking, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm poking around too. I'm not working very hard. Yeah. This we has definitely been a year of us uh, really getting in and enjoying the farm after how crazy last year was. It feels so good to just have a fairly normal year. Yeah, we're taking a little, a little slower, enjoying our, our farm a little bit more than we did, right? Well, yeah, and now we have <laughs> more employees than we have ever had before, which was the plan last year, but we obviously didn't make it happen for crazy reasons, but yeah, it's fantastic to finally have the level of help that we've always needed on the farm. Yeah, it's amazing. All right. So I can putz around and wrap a bouquet. Wrap these bouquets and I'm trying to get out of here. I have a softball game I need to attend and deliveries take me at least two hours. So I have a couple more stops to make in addition to my standard delivery. So I'm trying to get those taken care of out the door and back for the softball game. Oh, you're trying to leave before and deliver? Yeah. Okay. Well, this will only, at my height, I can wrap <laughs> five a minute. So yeah, one minute per bucket. He's going slow, I can tell. That's okay. Just take your time. It's Friday, y'all. Is today Friday? Today is Friday. <clears throat> we actually have a new product that we made this year and it was from some leftover buds from the gomfrina. So this is globe amaranth gomfrina. We took all of these buds off, stuck them into baggies, and we're finally getting around to making our product. The product is flower confetti. And uh, yeah, it's just a great idea. You can use it for anything. You can use it for arts and crafts. I was thinking about use, selling these to, for people to use them in weddings to throw the flower confetti instead of doing rice or whatever the non-traditional rose petals maybe uh, this is a really great alternative so i'm excited to see how this does at market tomorrow adam's getting a picture of the bouquets so that we have content for social media we think this it, yeah you guys get to see instagram versus reality yeah you see how messy that is back there <laughs> we haven't swept the entire driveway we need to
Des Moines Mercantile. I got here about 10 minutes before they open, but uh, Rebecca's just showing up, so I'm gonna pop in there and deliver bouquets. Okay, the last two go here. Service with a smile. One of my other special treats for the day is Kismet Kombucha. I really like it. Harvesting a little larkspur out of this lovely garden today. It is really starting to pop every day. Every day there are more and more flowers just blooming like crazy. Uh, any day now, within a week or so, this thing is just going to be a wash in color. More than we can keep up with. Just so beautiful. It's also a CSA day, day today, so I'm getting the CSA bouquets prepped. And we are going to put them into these little jar vases. You can see their hobnail, they're so cute. So this is what our CSA people are gonna get. And we also have you cut CSA. We started to run out of flowers, so we started making fresh lavender bunches in these cute little jars. And I think they're gonna be great. I'm also excited to experiment with these. This is one of my new product things. I'm gonna take these to market and see how they do. I'll just put a few little flowers in for a little bud vase. We'll see how that, that works. We'll just take a couple and see. Almost done, just need a few more delphinium. Beautiful CSA bouquets though. All right, y'all, that's a peek at our Friday hustle. It was kind of more of a peek from Jen's point of view. Uh, I'm getting better at whipping out the camera, y'all, I promise. I'm, I'm getting the camera out more and more. If y'all enjoyed this video, please do us an honor and subscribe to our channel and hit that like button while you're at it. And a big shout out and thank you to our patrons. Thank y'all for joining and happy growing and we'll see you next time.